When I was designing the extract system for the shop, I wanted to use two inch PVC waste pipe. So I came up with this design for the blast gates using two inch PVC sockets. I've made the entire gate out of some six mil MDF and scrap pieces that I had in the shop. And the main idea behind this gate was that it was to be self cleaning I've seen a lot of gates where the gate pushes into a stop and a lot of the dust and debris can build up in the stop and preventing the gate from pushing all the way home. So this design, I've made it the gate through the whole piece so it pushes backwards and forwards. And that way it's self-cleaning as the action of the gate just pulling backwards and forwards will remove any debris out the back of the gate. I designed it so that the entire thing can be cut from a single strip of MDF 80 millimeters wide. The, all of the components can be cut out of a section just over 450 mil long, so 18 inches long. The hole cut in the sleeve matches the outside diameter of the PVC socket, so the socket will push inside this and then finish flush with the underside of it. The hole that I've cut in the gate matches the internal diameter of the PVC socket. Assembly of the gate is very simple. I first sanded the gate just to make it easier to slide in and out and then fitted two of the little small battens either end with some adhesive, put some clamps on them, set that to one side to dry. I took the two inch PVC socket and cut it in half. I glued each half into the top and bottom sections of the gate. I used a two part epoxy for this and I found that more than adequate to glue to both the PVC and the wood and it was easily strong enough. Final part of the assembly is to glue the two halves of the gate together with another couple of the thin battens making sure that you don't get too much glue squeeze out and um, just move the gate backwards and forwards during the drying process just to make sure that that doesn't get glued in there as well. So there's the completed blast gate. Installation is really easy. The 2 inch PVC waste pipe will simply glue into the top of the gate with some solvent cement. I also glued a 45 degree elbow into the socket on the bottom end of the gate. I can then connect my flexible hose onto, which will then go to the machine in the shop. I've taken a short video in the shop to show you one in use. I'll put a link to this SketchUp file in the description below. And for those of you who don't use SketchUp, I've also printed the cutting plan in a PDF document, and there's a link to download for that also in the description. Here we have the blast gates fitted in position in the shop. We've got the 2 inch PVC waste pipe, which is the extract duct coming down and solvent weld glued into the socket on the top of the blast gate. I've made a small little plywood bracket just to hold them firmly so that they don't wobble about. The gate is easily opened just by sliding forward into the open position. And then you've got vacuum on the tool that you're using. And then to close, just purely to shut it, the vacuum is enough to keep it sealed. Any dirt or debris that falls into the gate um, when other tools are being used can simply be cleaned out by moving the gate forwards and backwards a couple of times. Any debris falls out the back of the gate. I've glued a 45 degree elbow into the bottom socket on the gate just because it brings the hose forward at a better angle, particularly when we move the table saw out into the shop. I've got an extra long hose here and it just presents the hose at a better angle to save it getting kinked. So there we go. Nice, easy, simple blast gate, self cleaning, using just the smallest amount of scrap wood, perfectly adequate for the job. Works really well.